bless you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless your name, God. Praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, God. Speak to us, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, be exalted, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Bless your Lord, God. Amen. We bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This is Bishop Campbell of Global Life Changing Ministries International. Amen. Just want to encourage you on today. Praise God. The Lord dropped this word in my spirit. Amen. I believe it's a timely word for so many people that's going through the situations and the trials. Amen. Glory to God. We give God praise for this is truly the day he has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. As you can see, amen. The topic is there's a blessing in your storm. Glory to God. So many times we don't like to go through. We don't like to suffer. Amen. We don't like opposition. It comes against us. Praise God. But God allows everything. Amen. In Romans 8 and 28, which declares, amen, for we know that all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord and to those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. As we get into this lesson, amen, coming from, amen, the gospel of St. Mark, the fourth chapter, amen, looking at verses 35 through 41. And the scripture reads, and the same day. When even was come, he said unto them, let us pass over to the other side. Amen. God is trying to get you and take you higher. Glory to God. But you got to be willing to submit. Amen. To the move of God that's taking place. Anytime there's a shift. Glory to God. There's always going to be resistance. Glory to God. And God wants us to be led by his spirit. He wants us to surrender. Amen. To his will for our lives. Praise God. So many times, saints of God, we make it harder on ourselves because we're trying to do things. Amen. That's contrary to the will of God for our lives. Praise God. The Lord said to them, let us pass over to the other side. So he said us, meaning that he was going to be with them. Amen. When God has called you to do something, amen, he's going to be with you. Amen. He's going to empower you. He's going to strengthen you. Amen. To do, amen, just what he's called you to do. Praise God. Amen. Verse 36 goes on and says, and when they had sent away the multitudes, they took him even as he was in the ship and there was were with him other little ships. Verse 37, and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. Glory to God. When God tells you to do something, saints of God, rest assured you're going to have opposition. The enemy, glory to God, always want to try to stop your progress. Glory to God. Let's look at the definition for a storm. A storm is a violent disturbance of, of the atmosphere, which uh, with strong winds and usually rain and other elements, glory to God, for us, ice, sometimes hail, glory to God, thunder, lightning. But the main two elements that you will always see in a storm, get this, are wind, which you can't see, and rain, glory to God, water, which are elements, something of the natural, glory to God. So that lets us know, hear me, that the enemy Amen. Which is the unseen, the, the spirit. There's a spirit behind every storm. Glory to God. There's a purpose. All storms, hear me, have a purpose. There's a purpose why God allowing you to go through your storm. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. The first, amen, storm that God allowed, it, that uh, when the disciples, he, the Bible said in, in Matthew, uh, uh, he, he uh, constrained them to get in the ship. Glory to God. The 14th chapter, he constrained them to get in the ship. So, uh, to go to the other side before him. And the Bible said, and he had, when he had sent the multitude away, he goes up into a mountain to pray. Glory to God. Everyone hear me when I say this. The Lord will deal with your past. 
So many times you still trying to live in the past and that's why you're not able to move forward. Glory to God. You got to let things go. You got to forgive those that have hurt you. Amen. And know hear me, that God allowed it, amen, to happen to make you better, not bitter. Glory to God. And so, glory to God, the disciples, amen, they get into the ship. In this particular storm, hear me, there's, while they're in the ship, they've been toiling all night. They are stuck because a great storm arises, amen, and it's contrary. It holds them, glory to God, while they're in the midst of the sea. Hear me. And while they while they, they toiling, get this, Jesus come walking on the on the sea, on the water to them. And they, the Bible said they would have they 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 uh would have missed him, but they perceived him that he was a ghost and they cried out and he tells them, Fear not. Glory to God. He said, It is I. Glory to God. Amen. Let me tell you this particular storm that he's he uh when he has put them in the ship, amen, and to send them ahead. Get this. This particular storm was allowed by God, get this, to cause them to wait on his presence. Glory to God. So many times we're trying to do things ahead of God. Hallelujah. Without God. So God has allowed storms. Amen. Glory to God. To shake us up. To cause us. Amen. To wait for him. To cry for him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But this particular storm in our lesson today. Get this. Jesus is in the hinder part of the ship. Glory to God. Hallelujah. With the disciples. And as they go and get this. He sleep. And then this great storm arise. Glory to God. And, and understand this. This particular storm was allowed by God. Get this. His presence was already there, but get this, you got to trust in his presence. Amen. The first storm came, get this, was for them to wait for his presence. And this particular storm caused them to trust in the presence. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, amen. Everything is about progression. The enemy don't want you to progress. Glory to God. But God allows it. Amen. Storms to come so he can promote us. The enemy always try to stop us uh, through a storm. Amen. Prevent us from growing, amen, and tap into who God has called us to be. And understand this. Let me help someone. When the Bible said he constrained his disciples to get into a ship, everyone hear me. Your ship, get this, the Lord said this to me, is your mentality. Glory to God. And so many times, and that's why we have fellowship, relationship, worship, all these are different types of mentality that God wants us to be in. Glory, a mindset, amen, for him to move, amen, to build relationship to grow and progress in things. Glory to God. And so many times, get this, because our mindset is, 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 is locked into a certain mode, we don't grow. Glory to God. We become stagnant. Come on here. And then we become frustrated because there's nothing happening in our lives. Everyone hear me want to say, God wants you to imagine. He wants you to dream big in him. Glory to God. And the reason why some of us, amen, who are dreaming but not walking or fulfilling a dream is because, get this, dreams, hear me, always takes uh, works. You got to put works with the faith. Glory to God. Don't believe just something just going to happen because you dreamed it. You got to get up and put works with your faith. Glory to God. Believing that God has given you something. Amen. To get this, to believe beyond where you are. Something better. Glory to God. And so if God has told you something, like he told Joseph, gave Joseph a dream. He didn't tell Joseph everything that Joseph was going to have to go through. He didn't tell him the process, but God gave him the end result, praise God, that he will be strengthened, that he will be encouraged, that he will be empowered. Glory to God. And everyone hear me. You got to be careful how you treat people because you never know who you who you are in the midst of. Glory to God. Because sometimes, get this, the very person you overlooking could have access, amen, to your destiny. Glory to God. A connecting place to your destiny. Glory to God. If you treat a person crazy or harsh or, or mean or you looking down on them, you never know who that person has a contact with. Glory to God. That person could have favor on their life. Glory to God. You may have a gift, but they have access and you need, get this, that connection that they have. Glory to God. So you got to be careful how you treat people. Understand this. Glory to God that Jesus was in the hinder part of the ship. And then the disciples said this, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And they wake him up and he comes up. Get this. And he, he begins to speak. Get this. He speaks to the sea. Glory to God. He speaks to the wind. He said, peace be still. Glory to God. Let's, let's read the word. Let's read the word. Let's read the word. 39th verse. He says this, and he arose and rebuked the wind. He deals with the unseen force, the spirit. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Everyone hear me. Every storm has a spirit behind it. And you got to recognize the spirit. God allows some storms, get this, to take place in our lives to get us to wait on him. But then there's some storms, get this, that God allows, get this, to take place to cause us to trust in him. Hallelujah. We got to be able to trust God not only in the storm, but through the storm. Praise God. The process. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So the disciples, they were with him. They saw him do miracles in this and that, but they still didn't trust. Get this. Everyone hear me. A deep word I'm finna say. You got to get to the, to the place where if you're not hearing God speak, you can still trust in his presence. Glory to God. He's Emmanuel. God with us. Amen. He said he never leave us nor forsake us. Glory to God. And so many times, get this, we fail to trust in him because we forget what he done told us already. Glory to God. Because God always prepares us for something. Amen. Before we experience it. Glory to God. And so many times the reason why we miss the preparation is because we distract it. Hallelujah. Our attention is elsewhere. But God wants your undefined attention in this time and season, saints of God. God needs you, amen, to rise up. God needs you. There's people, glory to God. There's people need you to be who God has called you to be. And so many times, get this, we cannot be effective in other people's lives because we allow the enemy to wreak havoc in our own. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But hear me, we got to offer ourselves, Roman uh, 12 and 1, present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. When you know that God has done so much for you, glory to God, you ought to be grateful grateful. Glory to God. And so many times we only are looking for people that we can get something from because we're looking for something in exchange. Glory to God. But sometimes get this. It's always a blessing to be a blessing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And looking for nothing in return from that person. Glory to God. Why? Because I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it for God because he's the one who created me. He's the one it meant to call me to this purpose. Glory to God. And to this plan that he has in store for me. Everyone hear me. Storms, get this, storms always bring about change, glory to God, it brings about change, it shows you your strengths, it shows you your weakness, it shows you what you are really prepared for, amen, where you, what you, where you need work, come on here, glory to God, and so many times, get this, if we're not able to endure the storm, get this, we will allow the storm, get this, to overwhelm us, glory to God, because the Bible said this, that the waves begin to beat into the ship, what is he saying, hear me, the the enemy begin to overwhelm our minds, glory to God, because we go going by what we see and what we feel, get, get this, instead of standing on the word of God by faith, glory to God, hallelujah, the Lord rises up, get this, the, that was in them, in the hinder part, in the belly, glory to God, if you have the spirit of God on the inside of you, you can speak to your storm, hallelujah, glory to God, the Bible said, call those things that be not as though they were. So no matter what it looks like, I still have what God says I have. Glory to God. Why? Because he's the author and the finisher of my faith. Glory to God. I call those things that be not as though they already were. So I'm encouraged. Glory to God. In spite of what it looks like, in spite of what it feels like. Why? Because I have a more true word. Glory to God. The word of God. The promises. I'm standing on his promise. Glory to God. God cannot lie. God cannot fail. So whatever God has told you, amen, you be encouraged. Amen. That you shall see this thing through. And I'm gonna tell you this: so many times we shout because uh people think said it's, it's gonna happen. But everyone hear me. There's also a process of prayer that has to be put forth unto the manifestation of that thing. Glory to God. We get discouraged, glory to God, because the, God said He's gonna do this, but then we look for it just to happen. No, you gotta put prayer on that thing, saints of God. You gotta walk for what you gotta uh uh, do warfare in the heavens, in the spirit realm. Glory to God. The Bible says, for the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. You got to have an aggressive attitude towards the things of God for your life. Glory to God. And we got to stop being passive. Oh, that wasn't just the will of God. Oh, that wasn't just meant to happen. No, hear me, saints of God. 
I want everything that God has for me. Glory to God. I want to know the perfect will of God for my life. Glory to God. And it takes uh, meditation. It takes dedication to studying the word of God and preparing yourself in prayer, supplication. Glory to God. Fasting, spending time with him, communing with God. And so many times, get this, we miss what God is doing because we're not in tune with him. We don't fellowship with him. Glory to God. When God puts you in that place, you stay in that place. Amen. And you ask God for a grace of hunger, amen, for him like never before, that you will be sensitive to the spirit of God, amen, so you can be developed, amen, full, entire, lacking nothing, glory to God, amen, once the process is complete, get this, he, he rebukes the wind and he says to the sea, he speaks to the natural thing, everyone hear me, so that's why we have to speak over that problem, come on here, we speak to it, amen, because we are addressing it and we command in the spirit, we rebuke the spirit behind it and we speak peace to that situation, glory to God. Hallelujah. There's people right now, amen, the situation that's going on, everything seemed to be good at first, and now the enemy is trying to throw a monkey wrench in it, but hear me, I rebuke that enemy of delay, I rebuke the enemy of hindrance, I, I rebuke the spirit of the, the, uh, disappointment in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are encouraged and we trust you and we stand on your word, saints of God. You have to be in this day and hour fully persuaded, amen, glory to God, that nothing shall be able to separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. Because so many times, saints of God, in this time, there's a shaking in this going on. Amen. Anything that says it's of God is being attacked. Everyone hear me. If you're not being attacked, you're not on the Lord's side. Glory to God. If you're not going through a, 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 a storm in your life, you're not with the Lord. Come on here. Glory to God. Because hear me. Glory to God. The Bible said, blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness sake. Hallelujah. You're going to be talked about. You're going to be lied on. You're going to be criticized. And people are going to say all men of evil about you. But hear me, as long as you're doing what God has called you to do, that's all that matters. Glory to God. Because God is going to get the glory out of the situation, out of your trial. Glory to God. Everyone hear me. Let me give you this prophetic word. You have to be able and willing, hear me, to die to yourself. And that's the reason, get this, why a storm is doing more damage in our lives because we don't want to die to self. We're trying to hold on to stuff that God is trying to allow the storm, get this, to strip us of stuff. The call stuff, amen, everything else to be, get the second, second to him. He wants to be the first and foremost above every and anything. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And God wants us to trust him. He wants us to love him. Glory to God. And the storm that he allowed him to take place in your life, life him, is not meant to destroy you. It's meant to build you up. It's meant to take you to a higher realm of glory, a higher realm of faith. Glory to God. That you will operate at a greater realm of glory. Glory to God. That you can see and perceive glory to God from a different standpoint point, a different viewpoint, and that you will know him in a true and living way. Amen. So many times, get this, we base our feelings on uh, how we going to worship God about how things are in our lives. Saints of God, hear me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In spite of all that Joseph went through, he didn't question God. He didn't doubt God. Hallelujah. The Bible said that the Lord was with him. The Lord was with him when he was sold to uh, the Ishmaelites. And the Lord was with him when he was at Potiphar's house. And the Lord was with him. Get this. Even when he was in the prison, falsely accused of something that he didn't even do. And that's a, a lot of us, hear me, are going through things. Get this. You're going through because you stood in integrity. You stood for truth. Glory to God. Hear me. You don't have to defend yourself. God will defend you. Hallelujah. The truth is, amen, is, is strong all by itself. You can't take nothing from it. You can't add nothing to it. Amen. Glory to God. And God wants you to know in this day and hour, hear me, that this time he got you. And he's going to carry you through it. But you got to trust. You got to stay in that place, in that posture, amen, of prayer that he's calling you to. Glory to God. Everyone hear me. Whenever God is about to do something grand in your life, there's a special grace of prayer that comes over your life. Oh, glory to God. You can have an appetite for food, but then all of a sudden it leaves you. Why? Because you drawn out to, you drawn the prayer. And God is calling us into intimate prayer like never before, saints of God. Amen. Because there's some things he want to release unto us. There's some things he wants us amen, to, to uh, pray through in the heavens. Glory to God. Just because God said it, saints of God, don't mean it's going to come to pass. Hear me. Sometimes you got a warfare. There's a wrestling over that stuff. Glory to God. Against the enemy. We got to remind the devil that he's defeated. We got to remind the devil that we are the children of the Most High God. That we are the head and not the tail, the lender and not the borrower. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hear me. The disciples were focused on, hear me, 
the Lord is speaking to them instead of trusting in his, his presence. Glory to God. The Lord was with them in the ship and he was asleep. The very thing, hear me, that you tripping over, God has peace about. Glory to God. The very thing that you, you fainting over, God has peace about. Glory to God. And God wants you to have his peace. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because the peace he gives us is not of the world. Hallelujah. It's foolish. Come on here. Hallelujah. It doesn't make sense. Glory to God. And people wondering why you uh, 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 at peace and you got all, get this hell, uh, all issues breaking loose around you. Everyone hear me. Peace is not the absence of problems. Get this. But peace is the acknowledgement that God is with you in the midst of your storm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The comfort in knowing, hear me, that everything's going to be all right. Hallelujah. And even though, get this, there's manifestation of all kind of evil and wickedness around you, trouble and chaos around you, you still holding your head up. Why? Because you know your Redeemer lives. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He, Jesus rises up and he rebukes the wind, and he speaks peace to the sea, and he says, peace, be still. Everyone hear me. Peace is always there, waiting on you to acknowledge it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands. That's for somebody right there. You're not going to lose your mind. You're not going to break down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're not going to faint. You're not going to be overwhelmed, overloaded. Glory to God by what the enemy's doing at you. Hallelujah. He wants you to trust him. Hallelujah. And what God is about to do, saints of God, is mind blowing. Glory to God. Because when he brings peace to your situation, glory to God. Hallelujah. Everything has to change. Hallelujah. But hear me, before it brings about a peace to the situation, he wants to bring a peace in you. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands. Say, Lord, I receive your peace today. I'm not going to faint no more. I'm not going to fall out. I'm not going to break down. Come on here. I'm going to trust you through this process. Whatever you allowed, amen, to take place in my life, you meant it for my good. Come on here. Hallelujah. The enemy, get this. He, The enemy brings about a storm. God allows the storm to come, but the enemy, get this, his intent is to stop your progress. Come on here. That's the purpose of the, the storm for the end, from the enemy. But get this, God allows the storm, get this, to prove your progress. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. That's how you know you're moving and that's how you know you're progressing is because there's a storm. There's some kind of resistance that's trying to stop your progress, stop you from moving forward. Everyone hear me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If the enemy could have stopped him, he could have, but he couldn't. Why? Because get this. The author and the finisher of our faith, the creator of the heavens and the earth, was in the midst of the ship. He was with the disciples. Hear me. I'd rather have God any day over money, over our wealth, over possessions. Come on here. Hallelujah. Because if I got the, get this, the creator, I got the supplier, he can meet the need at any moment. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And God wants you to trust him, saints of God. I can feel people right now, amen, looking at the problem. Hear me. Get this. The more you look at it and focus on your problem, get this, the greater it becomes. The more it becomes magnified. But I dare you to take your eyes off your situation and put your eyes on God. Hear me. And watch him become glorified and magnified in your eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Begin to bless God in the midst of your storms. Hear me. Don't wait till your storm is over. You might as well praise God right now because God is shifting the things around in your favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Understand this. Remember the definition of a storm. Get this. We said, glory to God. It says this, that a storm is a violent disturbance of the atmosphere with strong winds. Hear me. Get this. So if the storm is bringing storm, strong winds to try to shift the atmosphere, get this, in the favor of the enemy, get this. How do I change the atmosphere? When the praises of God go up. Hallelujah. The blessings of God come down. So I'm changing the atmosphere by my praise and by my worship. Hallelujah. Which sets precedence. Get this. Which rolls out the red carpet for God to step down in my situation. Get this. Because when God comes in the midst, things have to change. Things have to happen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You no longer go be hurt. You no longer be wounded by what you see about what. Get this. Because everyone hear me. Every Every storm has a voice. Hallelujah. Every storm has a voice. Every storm will speak to you and tell you that you're not going to make it. Come on here. That it's stronger than you are. Amen. Hear me. Hear me what I'm going to say. But get this. 
close your eyes and your ears to the storm and put your ears on uh, your eyes on Almighty God and you listen up for him to speak. Glory to God. And know that he's with you. Hallelujah. Become one with him. Glory to God. How do we become one? You got to die to yourself. You cannot be who God is calling you to be if you're always going by what you feel, what you think. Come on here. Let, let, let's address this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Get this. How many of us have judged people or things by what we saw and we presumed and assumed that they were a certain thing, but get this. And then when we really found out the truth behind it, we realized how off and how wrong we were. Because get this. Our opinions, we, we allow the enemy to put a thought there. Glory to God. And then say, for instance, if a good friend of yours, if y'all been communing every day, then all of a sudden they'll go a few days without communing, uh, calling you or answering your call. You'll be saying something wrong with them. Get this. How it, could it possibly be that they could be going through something? Glory to God. They, they've been attacked or they, they phone could be messed up. There's anything. Hear me. Everyone hear me. Stop putting something in a place where only God is supposed to be. Hear me. Stop making up an excuse, allowing the enemy to put something there or put a thought there or put a, a presumption or assumption there. Get this, which, get this, which fights against truth. Because get this, you can believe a lie and be damned. It can mess you up. You can be all upset. Oh, they ain't answering my call and this and that. Get this and that. Not knowing, get this, they had a private matter that is taking place where it has to have their undivided attention. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Instead of you praying for them, you mad at them. Glory to God. And then when you hear the truth, you realize, man, I had them all wrong. Glory to God. We have to stop judging people and start praying for one another. Glory to God. Everyone hear me. The more we die to self, the more the love of God comes through. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I tell people this, and I mean it sincerely, that my life, I live, is to please God, but I'm serving to God's people. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to be the type of person where when someone come into my presence, they know that they have been in the presence of God. I'm an ambassador. Glory to God. I'm a representative of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, because a person may have an attitude, get this. Their attitude is not going to affect my relationship with God. Hallelujah. It's not going to change me or make me to be mean and cold and act hard towards them. Get this. Because many times when a person being mean, that's just a defense for the pain that they're trying to cover up. I'm talking to some women right now. Hallelujah. You've been short. You've been moody. Because get this. They don't know what has happened to you. That's a sensitive area. When something happens, it sends you back to that place where you've been hurt. And God wants you to be healed. Glory to God. God wants you to be delivered. God wants you to be set free. Glory to God. God wants you to grow. Why? Because the enemy knew this, that if he did that one thing, hear me, it would stop your progress. But God allowed it. Get this. So you can cry out to him. So you can trust him the more. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I speak peace to your storm. Glory to God. I come against the demonic forces. They're trying to get you to doubt the very God that you say you believe in. Everyone hear me. You cannot be a follower of Christ if you're not obeying his word. Glory to God. To love him is to serve him. To serve him is to obey him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All of us as ministers and Bible believing saints, saints of God, we all have purposes. We all have administrations, amen, and that we must operate in. Glory to God. Every last one on this Facebook Live right now, you have a purpose and God has a plan for your life. But hear me, God will never make you do it. You got to willingly submit yourself, amen. Everyone hear me. And change always comes with challenges. Glory to God. You got to deny yourself. You got to wrestle through yourself because, get this, because there was a mindset that we were born in and we must change that mentality when we become born again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, just lift your hands right where you are. Glory to God. I pray that the Lord will minister to you. I pray that the Lord will heal you of every broken place and peace.
pieces in your life, glory to God, where you were let down, where you were discouraged, amen. I pray that the fresh fire of the Holy Spirit will blow upon you, glory to God, where your passion will and your love of God will increase, that will take you not only to another level, but to another dimension, glory to God, where people will see the change that God is bringing about in your life. Get this, everyone hear me. We pray for other people to change, but God wants to first change you, glory to God, hallelujah. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer, glory to God, hallelujah. It's quick for, it's easy, and it's, we're quick to judge other people and see other people's issues, but we don't want to look at ourselves, glory to God. But I'm talking to the man in the mirror today, glory to God, hallelujah. I'm talking to that woman, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, that feel like she always got to have her way, and when she don't, she get mad, glory to God. That's, hear me, that's a place that you need deliverance. That's a place where you need healing. Why? Because when you didn't get what you want when you was younger, that seed grew up, that you made up in your mind, that if you just throw a temper tantrum, that you can get whatever you want, hear me. The devil is a liar and you will never be who God is calling you to be because everyone hear me. Life is not fair. Come on here. But life is what you make it in God. Hallelujah. God has already laid up promises and things for us, saints of God. And as we trust and obey him, we come into that, amen, to that, that, that fruition or that fulfillment, that place of destiny that he has in store for us. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't care what people have spoken over your life. Hear me. If it's not what God has not said, come on here. If it's not what God said, I don't want it. I don't receive it. Come on here. You cast that down. Glory to God. I am what God says I am and I can do what God says I can do. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am anointed. I am healed. I am delivered. I have peace of mind. I have joy unspeakable. You got to be able to speak over yourself. Hear me. So many times we allow people are uh, looking for somebody to prophesy over us, somebody to speak a word. But saints of God, every time I pick up this Bible, I'm getting a prophecy over my life. Glory to God. Why? Because God's word is forever settled in heaven. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so when I speak his word, amen, I'm getting a rhema. It brings life to me. Glory to God. It brings vitality to me. Glory. It brings encouragement. It brings enlightenment. And hear me. And when you pray in the Holy Spirit, glory to God, there's an impartation that's released. Glory to God. There's special graces in truth. Get this. That comes about through covenant. That comes about through obedience. Obedience, glory to God, and fellowship with God Almighty. Glory to God. Hear me. There's a blessing in your storm. You've been looking at it wrong the whole time, and that's why get this, many of us have pulled over in the storm, and so we just, because we've been in the storm for so long, we think that this is the way it's going to be all my life, the devil is a liar, hear me, I come to bring strength to you, I come to bring encouragement to you, get this, if you're going through, keep moving, glory to God, because hear me, you keep moving, you're going to come out of it, glory to God, but if you stop, come on here, in the midst of your storm, you delay in your storm, hallelujah, but if I keep on moving, that means if I keep on praising, if I keep on worshiping God, the sooner I'm going to come out, and everyone hear me, when God sees them Himself come out of you, he's gonna call you out of the storm. Hallelujah. He go, hallelujah. Get this. Sometimes there's ego. Get this. Ego can perceive and see a storm coming miles and miles away. Get this. And it sits up on the perch, getting ready. Come on here. Glory to God. Hear me. There's something happening in the spirit to let you know that something is about to happen in the natural. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And God wants us to be prepared. Glory to God. And many times, hear me. The reason why we caught off guard is because there's no preparation in prayer. Hallelujah. We're not in tune with the spirit of God. Hallelujah. We continue uh, giving more attention to the things of the natural man. Come on here. We got to deny ourselves and get, amen, before God, in the face of God, amen, to call those things in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. To make supernatural withdrawals. Hallelujah. Glory to God into our now, into our present. Amen. Which prepares us for our future. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so when the, get this, getting back to the eagle, when the eagle's on the perch and when that storms come, get this, there's some storm he's flying through but then there's some storms that he flies over he allows the storm get this to hold him up to carry him he just spread his wings glory to god and that's what god is trying to get you to do saints of god to spread your wings through the storm so people that would know hear me that you are an eagle not a chicken 
Hallelujah. A chicken got wings, but it can't fly. Hallelujah. You are eagle. Glory to God. To so high than any other birds. Glory to God. And there's a greater level of dimension. Hear me. That God is trying to take you to in the spirit realm. Hear me. And that's what has happened to many of us. We go to church, but there's no progression in our walk with God. We go hear the word preached, but there's no hungering for God. There's no thirsting for the knowledge of God or for revelation. Come on here. Revelation comes about, everyone hear me, through fellowship. The more God can disclose to you, the more you fellowship with him. The more you fellowship with him, the more you grow in him. Hallelujah. The more we intertwine with God. Hallelujah. And that's what brings about special graces. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, lift your hands. Glory to God. It's time for us to come back to the heart of worship where it's all about God. It's not about, it's not about how much money you got, not about what kind of house you live in or what kind of car you drive. It's about the love of God. Hallelujah. Being exemplified through our lives, helping our fellow men, brother and sister. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When was the last time you ministered to someone? Hear me, out of your own need. Glory to God. When was the last time you sowed a seed to someone? Glory to God. Even though, hear me, you know that you need bills to pay, but you paid someone else's bills. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This time, saints of God, every time, I'm going to be honest with you, every time when I'm in need, get this. Get this, I just go to God. I sow a seed to someone. And then, get this, many times within a few days, that same need, get this, that I've been praying for is already made in abundance. Why? Because, hear me, you cannot beat God's giving no matter how you try. Hallelujah. And that's why the Bible said the, 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 uh, the, 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 the recipient, get this, the blessed, the giver is, is, is greater than the, the recipient. Hear me. When you give, you're in a greater place. Hallelujah. It puts you in a greater place than the recipient. And hear me, but the recipient can come up because of the giver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I believe God is turning things around for you, saints of God. Hallelujah. God is speaking peace to your storm. Hallelujah. Because he's in the midst of your storm. Come on here. What you're going through right now, Emmanuel, God with us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is about to bring such a, about a glory in your life that's going to blow your literal mind, but he wants you to trust him. Hallelujah. As he speaks to, he, he rebukes the, the wind, then he speaks to the sea. He said, peace be still. And the disciples, they just amazed. Let's finish reading that. It says this, and the, and the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Because, because, get this, the Lord dealt with the spirit behind the wind. Everyone hear me. If you don't deal with the spirit behind the storm, your storm will continue. Glory to God. You got to be able to deal with the, the, the spirit behind the storm. Get this, and then speak to the natural situation. Peace be still. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Say not rebuke you. Now, peace be still in this problem, this issue. Come on. Peace was there. Just waiting for the acknowledgement. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Verse 40. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? Everyone hear me. These were his disciples. The very one that was with him. They were afraid. He said, Why are you so fearful? Why is it that you have no faith? And that's what God is asking you right now. You go to church, but why are you afraid? Why you have no faith? If you want to hear me, Hebrews, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Everyone hear me. Faith gives you vision. Faith sees into your future. Glory to God. Faith is always ahead of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You don't need faith for what you have now. You need faith for what you haven't obtained yet. Glory to God. And the reason why many of us, hear me, are fearful is because the enemy has us blindsided by what we are going through now instead of what's ahead of us. Glory to God. You got to be spiritually mature, hear me, to be able to look past what you're going through to see the finish line. Glory to God. Because your storm that's going on right now is only a test to see if you're worthy for the blessing behind it. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, why are you so fearful? And the Bible said this in 41 as we close. And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? Everyone hear me. Everyone hear me what I'm finna say. That same Jesus, he's Lord. Hallelujah. He's here in spirit, the Holy Ghost. And he wants to live in you. Hallelujah. You can get to the place where you speak to the storm and the storm has to cease. Hallelujah. But then there's some storms we just have to go through. Hallelujah. And whatever God allows us to go through, saints of God, he's given us the grace to go through it. And we must utilize what God has given us in the midst of the storm to carry us through it. Get this. Before the storm even came to pass, he tells them, he said, let us cross over. Let us pass over to the other side. He said, let us pass over to the other side. He lets them know, hear me. That you're going to go through something, be prepared, but you're going to come out because I'm with you. Hallelujah. God wants you to know that whatever you're going through, he's there now. It's time for us to acknowledge him. Time for us to let him have his way. Glory to God. Stop looking at the storm and look at the storm rider. Hallelujah. The one who's in control of everything. I create an Elohim. Hallelujah. El Shaddai, the Almighty God, trust Him like never before. Lord, bless your people like never before. I thank you for this word of encouragement and empowerment, O oh God, that we will see you in a greater light, God, that we will realize our storms are only a test before promotion. And Lord, help us to pass the test. Help us to look to you, God, and trust in you the more. Help us to stand on your promises. Father, I thank you right now that all is well and the devil is still defeated. I thank you right now for lifting every burden, God. And Father God, what you have promised shall come to pass. We trust you, God. Help us to lean not into our own understanding, but in all our ways we acknowledge you and you shall direct our path. Lord, have your way. May the Lord bless you today. Know that there's a blessing in your storm. Hallelujah. Because sometimes, get this, we can't get what God has for us any other way until we go through the storm because every storm has a lesson behind it or there's something in it for us to gain so we can use and help others, amen, that will go through the same storm. If you've never been through that or came that way, you can't tell no one else how to come or the direction to follow. Glory to God. May the Lord bless you today. We love you, saints of God. Pray for us and we pray for you. I pray that the Lord will bless you and your family. I pray that every need is met. I pray that the Lord will touch your body. The Lord will strengthen you and your loved ones. Be encouraged. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you.